Stephen Hawking, and a theoretical physicist, has warned these people, you are about to open Pandora's box. A mysterious device that can bend reality. That can bend reality. That can bend reality and make any dream come true. But power has a price. But power has a price. And he's coming to collect. Black Box. Well, another pretty obvious one from Lionsgate there. Lionsgate. The Gate of the Beast. Showing the false ascension. The bending of reality. Cracking through time and space, the collide, opening of Pandora's box. All in there. I mean, it's enough to send you around the bend, isn't it? How many times are they going to keep showing it? So, today we're going to have a brief look at this International Year of Light 2015 official trailer. Remember, 2015 was labelled the International Year of Light. This is on a channel... FOM Physics, Foundation for Fundamental Research on Matter. So it's real stuff, real, you know, science is really behind what is going on. It's not just a conspiracy. This trailer kicked off the official United Nations opening ceremony in Paris on January 19th, 2015, which is in production and will be released in September 2015. Oh, there you go. There's a surprise. September 2015 release. Look at that. Straight away, the breath. And it's a female breath, if you listen closely. Probably something to do with their belief in the sky goddess, Nut interstellar, stellar stars, uh, and this divine breath thing that they've got going on in this trailer that starts off the whole thing. Ultimately, this all ties back into, eventually into Lucifer, of course, the false god, counterfeit, the hijacker. So don't get too lost in all these fables, but just read the Bible that tells you that this is all about powers and principalities in high places, the fallen angels, stellar meaning star. So the blinding light. I'm sure some of you may have seen this before, but So we've got the streaks of light going across the world. CERN all to do with the collide of light, the illumination across the world, thousand points of light, which is Lucifer, and do look down rivers, birthing canals, and you'll see as this goes on, Look at that eight-pointed star, Ishtar, and the light. So through the shaft in CERN there, and look at that, straight after, through that shaft in CERN, and then we come through this cave or womb, uh, birthing canal. You see how this is all being shown? It makes you wonder half the time whether they know what these things mean all the time, or whether it's subconscious, spiritual, but it is always there, it seems. The machinery. And so this boy is coming to this tree. If you've seen some of my videos before, you'll have seen this tree. It is all centers around this tree. There is only one real agenda here and that is the return to Eden 
the transfiguring of the tree. Illuminating the world and coming to this tree. And the music is quite chaotic there, actually. So, order out of chaos, into this return to Eden, the Luciferian, the Luciferian hope of back to source, kind of a, a return to Eden thing with this transfiguring of the tree. And if you saw my video, Antichrist Breaking the Veil of Time, this is exactly what I was talking about. The transfiguration of the tree. And that's exactly what it's about. It's about the transfiguring of the tree. They want this counterfeit heaven on earth type scenario. And it was like in the Olympics, you had the tree on the hill. The pleasant, green and pleasant land with the tree on the hill. And Ramstein in the music video Zona, which means sun in German... And you see the same thing, you see that dead tree on the hill, and it's all about Lucifer, the woman, being broken out of her coffin. And notice she's the only one in colour. And the apple actually breaks her out, breaks the glass and breaks her out of that coffin, and she's on top of that hill on that mountain with the tree. So you see it's the same thing, it's about, it's about transfiguring this tree. I mean all of this video has got it in again. These uh, miners working in this almost black and white mine in the underworld, in the caverns, in the womb, finding gold, transfiguring the womb, climbing the ladder, it's all included. Here comes dishonor. Here comes the sun. And that Lucifer figure, Snow White. She is the brightest star of them all. Sie ist der hellste Stern von Allen. I can't really speak German too well. And you see that same Last Supper before coming out of the womb again. With her at the head of the table. The false god Lucifer in colour. The light, the false light. In colour with her apple. It's almost like, uh, a, well, like transfiguring the ox and the golden apple. And they're sitting at this table like, like the Last Supper and snorting gold dust. Remember the womb in Saturn, Lucifer in the womb. Look at that halo there, sun god. There's the halo. And it is, it's all that same thing. It's the false Christ. It's the one that's posing ultimately as Christ. It's the false god Lucifer elevating itself. Look, the men worshipping the woman. All of the same agendas. Semiramis, all of that. The colours, red, blue and yellow. Just like Superman. And it ultimately culminates in her dying. And... We've got this whole scene with a tree on the hill. And then she's broken out of her coffin by the falling apple. So we've got the tree on the hill. And then she's ultimately carried up there when she's dead. And she's broken out of the coffin by the falling apple. Look at that. It's all there. Here comes the sun, the false sun, the false sun god, the Antichrist. And that is what CERN, cracking open the pit, cracking open the womb, breaking the veil, smashing the veil. Just like that BBC one I covered before when you had that chaotic music. Look at this illumination, the tree. Aperture. 
spiral, the gates. Again, like when a, when a, ca a camera takes a photograph, for example, all these things have correlations with the spiritual world because what you bind on earth is bound in heaven. There's a direct relation. And so like with the shutter on a camera, it freezes time. It freezes a moment in time when you take a photograph. And this technology comes from the abyss. Look at that spiral. The light. It's all sorcery. It's sorcery. The light, source, back to source. Luciferian, International Year of Light 2015. There you go. And then f finished off by the black sun eclipse at the end. Sorcery. It's, it's all, man, just being shown outright. People really need to wake up to what exactly is being shown, how blatant it is being shown. And it really, there really is no denying it because most of the public don't know what these things mean. And so it's only really a select few in this world, those that are waking up and obviously those who are perhaps initiates in these things or, or uh, you know, speaking a language they understand. So as we watch for signs of the end times, we have been gifted with the capability and the knowledge of understanding what the enemy is unrolling in this world. And I just encourage you all to, to read the Bible. It is all written in the Bible, what is to come. These are just shown in their own Luciferian way. And of course, the Bible does tell us the whole truth. So I encourage everyone, don't don't reject the Bible just because they're pushing in the culture that is, is completely irrelevant and boring and bears no significance in this world because that is part of the deception. They're trying to get people away from that. And they're trying to push people towards accepting this false Christ. The false return of Christ, that the Jesuit, Vatican, Zionist, whatever, tribe of Dan are pushing and will try and lead and deceive the very elect into accepting this false Christ, which Jesus warned us about in the Bible. It, it really, really shocks me how many churches, mainstream churches I've been to in the last couple of years. And I don't think I've heard any one of them speak about a false Christ masquerading as light. I don't think I've ever heard one of them speak about what the Bible clearly tells us that there is going to be this great deception. It's almost like that a lot of people, and I pray that it's not so, and I pray that they wake up, Christian, many Christians will wake up before these things unfold, but it's almost like that many would just look up at the sky, see something coming, or believe that something is coming because they're told it's coming by the mainstream media or the mainstream church under the umbrella of the Vatican, fed through and funneled through all of the different big organisations that many, many different denominations fall under, evangelical organisations, all of those or big organisations. I mean, who ultimately has stakes in these big organisations? Will people just believe what they're told if this unrolls? Will people just believe that if, if they're told that that's the real Christ, that it is? Because Jesus himself warned us, believe none of them that come in my name and say, I am the Christ. Believe none of them. Coming from the wilderness, the secret chambers, it all relates to Saturn. And some people think, you know, because I talk about Saturn, that is not biblical. But what is the secret chambers? What is the heart? What is the heart of the earth and where is it linked to? God bless all of you. Stay strong.